Good morning, good morning, my creative friends. So today I am going to show you how to do this fishnet pattern here. And I will put the instructions in the comment section or in the description section to show you how to get it started since I've already started this um, very this project here. So if you're joining, my name is Deborah, and I am the Hands Behind Taylor's Yarn Creations. For this project, you are going to need um, some yarn. This is a size 10 yarn um, cotton, and it comes in various colors, but I'm using this beautiful royal blue here. And I am using a crochet hook in the size of, let me see if I can get it here for you. 2.25 millimeters and this can be made in various yarn sizes yarn types and crochet hook sizes it's just a matter of what you are trying to make this project i will uh it's my first time really kind of working on it and i will uh see how it turns out this is just a simple simple um, steps that's needed is basically a double crochet um, stitch and some chains so let's get started here I'm going to go ahead and thread it and I'm I kind of uh, crochet to the almost to the end because what I want to do is I'm going to show you how I'm finishing the this particular pattern more so than the stitch itself because it's really basic so you want to, as I'm going to the next stitch, I want to go ahead and, um, let me see if I can move this, this uh, up a little bit. My little um, stand here. So I'm going to start, as I'm going to the next stitch, I want to go ahead and just chain three, one, Of course, my, my hook wants to go into the fishnet itself. Two and three. And I'm just going to go into do a, a double crochet now. And I'm going to yarn over. And then I am going, like, try to make sure I'm into the camera here. I'm going to just go into the top of the du double crochet in the, the row below, and then I'm going to just do a double crochet. And then it's just that simple. You'll do chains and double crochets. Then I'll do chain three. <laughs> One, two, three. Yarn, yarn over, go into the top. Do your double crochet in the top stitch, pull through, and then do your double crochet. One, two, three. Of course, I'm skipping three chains. Going to the next double crochet, top, pull through, and finish my double crochet. It's just that simple. One, two, three into the next double crochet stitch at the top and complete that double crochet now i'm getting close to the end here as you can see one two three yarn over into the double crochet at the top finish the double crochet in this row real simple and then i'm at the end here at the end i do when i get ready to turn i'll do six so i'm gonna do the three one two three this because this is six i will i will crochet do a double crochet in the third chain at the end and that will finish this row to start the next row, I will chain six, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, turn. And however many rows you want, and I will do the next double crochet stitch in the next top of the double crochet in the row below. And then just finish off and continue this row. So that's how you do this particular stitch here. And it makes a nice pattern. And you do as many rows as you feel comfortable or whatever your project you're working on. I'm going to do probably about 30 for this one. This makes a nice scarf. It can turn it to a, um, I can see it as something, uh, um, a shirt, a summer shirt that you throw over a cover up for a bikini. I can see all kinds of things that you can do with this. Um, it's just really a simple pattern that anyone can do. So this is Deborah, and I'm the hands behind Deborah by Taylor Joint Creations. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.